Hey guys, what is up? It's Big Body Evan, and today we're gonna do another Minecraft tour. This time we're gonna be touring a battleship called the USS Stewart. It's a destroyer, not a battleship, not a, a destroyer. Battleship. Whatever. Right. But this is we're on the Dunkirk right now. It's probably gonna be the next ship we tour, which is an actual battleship. Um, but yeah, this is the USS Stewart, and the Snowberry's next to it to show a comparison. You know the, uh, um, Snowberry is a Corvette, um, Stewart's a destroyer. To show you, I did this to show the size, to show a size comparison between the two class ship. Yeah, this yeah, is the, the one we did is, last time. Yes, I know almost nothing about this ship, so I'm not going to do very much history. I just know that it's an Edsall class destroyer, and it's basically a downsized Fletcher class. That's pretty much all I know, so no history. We're just gonna go from back to front, and then we'll show the inside. All right, so back here, we've got two de we've got two large depth charge rails, and the rudders and the propellers and stuff. And then up here, we've got two Orlikins, and then some smaller depth charge rails up the back. And then we've got I don't know what caliber of gun this is, um, but I know it's. I think it's around the same size as the Snowberry. I'm not, the Snowberry is just three inches. I'm not sure what this one is. Then we've got a Bofors gun up here, two life rafts, um, and then the ship's bow. Another both, two more Bofors guns. Another two Bofors guns. Yep, up here. We've got four Orlikins next to the funnel, which is this thing right here. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the main mast and then the main tower along with everything else. And then two little um, life rafts. Okay, so these things right here yeah. would normally hold a, hold a lifeboat, but I didn't know how to make one sideways like that, or kind of at a di kind of at an angle. So I just did put one in there. And then we come to the front. We got two more of the, the main guns, or the single barrel main guns. And we got the anchor chains. Anchor chain gang. Yep, anchor chain gang. That's a stupid joke now, but I don't really care. Right. Um. Then we've got the flagpole. Alright, so now I'll show you the inside. Okay, so if we come over here and we open them, we've got the sonar and radar room. This would kind of be the map. There would kind of be just a map right here where they would draw, or kind of like a, a grid where they would draw the ships, and then as they move, they would rewrite it and stuff. Alright, so this is like the sonar station. This is a custom painting I made on a resource pack. And then we just got the little radar stuff here. Just, just a compass. Right, and then we come up here. We have um, a little... We have the main... We have a part, part with the main gun. One of the main guns. And then we come up here again. We're at the bridge. Right, come inside here. This is very similar to the Snowberry, it's just a little bit more cramped. You got the steering wheel, parking, um, speedometer, meter, speed lever thing. Right now, if it was forward, we'd be going at max speed. Okay, yeah, there's really nothing much on this part of the ship that's small. A little smaller than the Snowberry, actually. Alright, so then we just come back down here. It's a bit tough to navigate throughout the ship. But this part here, still a little work in progress, I'm not really sure what's in this room. I have not gotten to the actual ship, the actual ships in Galveston, but since it was closed, we weren't able to really, or since it was closed due to COVID, we weren't really able to do anything. That's, yeah. Those are just ladders to climb the funnel. They would really, I don't, um, they, they, they would have something like this on the real thing, I'm just not really sure if they would be on the, like that, but yeah, we come back here and stuff. And then there would be like, just go down this ladder. In here. Oh, all I stacked in with some crates. And then back here we have the captain's quarters. Or not the captain's quarters, we just have a few more areas and sonar and stuff. In here. We got the captain's quarters. Bed, table, sink, um, chest, cabinets. This lever would represent kind of a hat hanger coat, hat, hanger thing, right there. So, very similar, very similar to the snowberry. 
Same as usual, the captain's quarters are like, it's like the fanciest room in the ship. Yeah, because he's the highest in command. No, the ship, again, isn't completely done. There's not, a, there still are a lot of beds all over the place missing. And then, there's just a little hallway that connects into the other room. We'll go in there in a second, but first, there's the doctor slash dentist. Again, like I said in the Akagi video, you do not want to be in this room on or at sea so there then come next door we have the bathrooms a little bit nicer than the snowberries yeah uh, have a bit more space and then some sinks right here yeah just keep coming in here then we got some engine room small. And then we just got a little meeting room. This is kind of where all the classified documents and stuff would be, and they throw them overboard. Yeah. Uh, if, if the ship was ever to go down, to make sure that they wouldn't fall into enemy hands. Okay. We can do this area over here. We got one of the first. Oh, Evan, you, you missed the bunk area. Oh, my right. bad. In here, we've got the bunks, or one of the bunk rooms. There's another one in here somewhere. So, yeah. Come to a meeting with this hallway. Wait, hang on. Give me a second. Button. Alright, then in here, just random tables. So, yeah. I'm not sure what's in this room. This is another bunks. Yeah, another bunk section. Would they fold up the bunks? No, they. Well. I don't really know. I don't think so because they did have most of the time the large majority of them did have dedicated rooms. But yeah, then here we just got the Morse code deciphering radio section thing. Like the computer then, section? I guess. And then in here we got a few trash cans, similar to the Akagi. And then in here, cafeteria. A lot more spacious than the snowberry. Yeah. And then the kitchen. Kind of small. Pass through through this window. This is where they bake the cakes and the get make the food. Yeah, they. Oh, I'm not sure if they would have cake, but I just put I just put cake because it's the only block that you can. It's the only food you can place in Minecraft. So. So yeah. So they mostly uh, eat MRE right uh, meals, right? I don't. I'm not sure. I don't think so because they do have their own kitchen. Normally they would have like. Really no meat, potatoes, that kind of stuff, American food. Go ahead and go. Frick, I don't like iron bullets very much. There you go. Alright, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. yeah. Very small. Yep, it's a destroyer. But once we do Dunkirk, Dunkirk will be a lot more extensive. But it's a lot larger. But I do believe you have a few things that you've made in this world. Do you, would you like to show your viewers? like? Oh, yeah. Things? So I'll let this you is... show us where, you, I'll let you give me a tour this time. Okay, so I'm gonna give you, this is like the dessert. Uh, these are like a, that's like a fighter. This is like another sm smaller class an, jet. Did you say this was an F-35 or was that the other one? The the F-15 is way up there. Alright, yeah, F-15, alright. I don't know, I just... Drew, kind of drew one that it was like that shot shot out as like a machine gun, and this one just shoots out rockets. This is kind of like one of those spy drones, I guess. That yeah. The, if you use, all right, keep going. You just do the rest. And then here, right here, it's a uh, Apache. Cool, cool, very nice. And this, and this is a, uh, and this is a uh, kind of a, it's like a helicopter that they don't. That doesn't have guns, but transports the soldiers. That's so kind of like a Vietnam helicopter? Yeah. But with wheels? Uh-huh. Now we go up here. Now this is oh the F-15 that you, you show. a lot of stuff. We are, re yeah, we are climbing up here. This is this an F-15. I helped with this one. Yeah. A little bit. All I did was just do the tail fin, and that's pretty much it. 
Right. And what would they call these planes? I don't know. Those look like those. I'm not sure, but they are. Those are the troop transports where they jump out the back, right? Yeah. I don't know what these are called, but this one looks pretty nice. In the interior, we've got like a couple of dropper bombs. We got crates, especially one hanging off a chain. And they, then we've got what they, would be bows and crossbows, but the text that the resource pack I put on yeah. changes up. They were nor these will be like the weapons ready ready for the soldiers to drop down. This is a this is the pilot is. section. This is a cockpit. Mm -hmm. Pilot section. My bad. Cockpit. I can't talk today and, at all. And this is where the soldiers will sit while they're waiting to jump off the plane. Oh, uh, you know what would have been cool if you put like the the nets above there where they put their bags and stuff. That would have been cool. Oh yeah. I how do you think oh, we were able to show you? Literally, just like put something like. Hold on, just put something like that, or maybe just hang on. Where's the scaffolding? What about this little plane down here? Well, which one? The little green fighter jet. Oh yeah, that's one, the one that shoots out uh, like a uh, like machine guns. The A10 Warhawk. Yeah, it's on. No, it's kind of like a like a smaller jet. Yeah. It shoots out uh, like a. Like a 50 BMG bullets, like a minigun. Yeah. Okay. I think and, that's it. And let let's drop down to here. Yeehaw! All right. I guess we'll end the video on the steward. Yep. Yeah. That's it, everybody, for this tour. I hope you like the extra, the extra bone, bonus stuff. I hope you love the tour. Make sure to leave, leave a jump. Just do us, do me a favor. Leave, leave a like on this video and subscribe because we've got a lot more ships to go, and you do not want to miss it. If you want to see more. So smash like, subscribe, and hit the bell notifications to this get more. If video gets five likes, I will make the motto. Yes. And that's Alert. all. That never existed. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll talk to y'all later.